Hello, all of you out there. It is Sherry Bant, Side Your Way Studio in Auburn, Indiana. And we have the fabulous Allison the Awesome behind the camera. Here I am. Say hello. Hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> hey, got a quick tip for you today. It is in regards to grain raise and peel up when you're making signs. So for all of you sign makers out there, if you've ever had this happen to you where you put your stencil on, you paint your beautiful sign, you peel it up, and you get the dreaded peel out like a pantyhose run. It's from the furry wood, the grain rays. I call it furry wood, that's what I call it. Well, anyways, we have a great tip for you today and it's our secret sauce. It is general finishes, high performance. We use the flat, which is very nice and matte and doesn't have a sheen. You can use the satin. We have actually applied it to this board already. We stained this board with our black water-based general finishes stain, which is awesome. These areas here that you can see on our common board have a little bit of resist, but that's perfect for when you're doing a rustic sign like we do with these boards. Anyways, you want to put your high performance on? Schming, schming, spoom, spoom, just like that. Did you like that? That's good. You put it on one coat, kind of a thin coat. You want to get it covered. And then you put your stencil on top of that once it's dry and it will stop that peel up. One other tip is when you're peeling up your stencil, don't do it with the grain, peel it up against the grain. Against the grain, guys. Against the grain. Go. This is the only time you should go against the grain is when you're peeling up a stencil. But anyways, I wanted to show that to you. I have our end result. You wanna see it? Here we go. There we go. Hopefully that tip will help. No more peel up. No more furry wood. Have a great day.